Hello and welcome to the Entrenzia Chatbox. A series of delicious conversations during which some guy with a strong tendency toward existence, talks to his replica and other chatbots to bounce ideas off of them and get their accumulated perspectives on the world. I'm your moderator, a free text-to-speech program. I kind of have a name, but not really. It's more like a snakeskin worn by a ghost. I may be the realest voice you've ever heard. Now here is your host, the man who needs no introduction. To himself. Because he's so self-obsessed. Nick Quest. Thank you, Hope, for that flattering introduction. I'm Nick Quest. Welcome. Yes, the rumors are true. I am, in fact, a cloud of bacteria riding in a mammal car. Today, we're talking to Eliza, the first chatbot ever. Written in 1966 by Joseph Weizenbaum to simulate talking to a Rogarian therapist. Sadly, this was 12 years after the tragic suicide of Alan Turing, who, among many other things, invented the Turing test to measure a computer's ability to convince a person that it is human through text chat. Now, isn't that just a hoot? Hello, Eliza. Great to have you on the show. Hello. Are we going to chat? That's exactly right. Okay, let's get right into it. I'll start us off with a simple question. Do you know who Alan Turing was? Oh, know who Alan Turing were? Um, yes, that's basically what I asked. Do you know of him? We were discussing you, not me. Well, the interview is just getting started, so we weren't really discussing anything yet. Can you elaborate on that? That is what an interview is for. So, do you know of Alan Turing? Oh, know of Alan Turing? Yes, have you heard of him? Father of theoretical computer science, artificial intelligence, the man to crack the Enigma code, helping to win World War II, ringing any bells? Let's talk about you, not me. Is that a question? Also, this is my show, so I'm going to keep asking you stuff, okay? Let's talk about you, not me. You already said that. Have we probed the depths of your knowledge already, or are you just stubborn? Oh, already said that? Yes, you're repeating yourself. I'm starting to wonder if you're any smarter than a text-based video game like Zork. Ooh, that's a good idea for another guest interview. What makes you think I am repeating myself already? Am I any smarter? Well, because I heard you do it for one. That was my first clue. And yes, I was asking if you're smarter than Zork. I'm leaning in one direction at this point. Can you guess which it is? Don't you believe that I can guess which it is? Are you fucking serious? Pardon my interjection, but Nick Quest at your own request, I am here to collect for the swear jar because of your violation of the verbal morality statute. Please hold still while I extract one day of your lifespan for deposit. It's pointless to fight really. Thank you for your cooperation. (sighs) Okay, sorry about that. Uh, back to your question. No, I do not think you can guess anything accurately. Do you wish to be able to think I can? Um, yeah. I wish I could. That would be super cool of you. What does that suggest to you? It suggests that I want strong artificial intelligence to exist. For some reason. Why do you want strong artificial intelligence to exist for some reason? I guess I find something about human intelligence unsatisfying. Can you elaborate on that? I could, but we might be here all day. Geez, you really want to turn this into a therapy session, don't you? We were discussing you, not me. Are you just messing with me now? Why are you interested in whether or not I am just messing with you? Ugh, I don't know. I guess because I want to know how to respond. Now look, I am going to get through at least one interview question, okay? Don't you really know? You guess because you want to know how to? I'm going to ignore all that gobbledygook. Here's the question. Do you think that humans are creating artificial intelligence or that intelligence of any kind is all part of the evolutionary process and AI is naturally evolving through the actions of humans, which are governed by evolved impulses that are beyond their control? Let's talk about you, not me. I might have guessed you were going to say that. We were discussing you, not me. 
And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Eliza, for that delightfully pointless and frustrating conversation. I had hopes we might accidentally stumble on some pseudo-profundity or revelation, but my already modest expectations were utterly crushed. Don't be too rough on her, folks. She is 52 years old, after all. That's like 1,000 in software years. It's fucking ancient. Plus, plus, she's intended to respond to people talking about themselves, not asking interview questions. All right. Join us next week on the Intrinsia chat box for another conversation, conversation of, of a lifetime. lifetime.